Yeah, when I started casting it, I had Nature's Grace too, so it was literally like a, what, a one second Starfire. It has a one second Starfire. A one second 12k crit Starfire, dude. Like, what? A one second 12k crit Starfire, guys. Like, look at this rogue. He gets completely annihilated. Like, let's just break this down for a second, all right? So from the beginning of the clip, I'm the aggressor. I hop into flight form. I'm looking for people. I see the rogue on his mount, so I know he's probably just fly away. But I still tag him with a moonfire. I see him on the ground. I tag him. They both fly away. They scatter like bugs. The mob sticks to me, so I just start to him. But then I see over here, right away, that... Someone starts flying back in. Is that the rogue? It's the rogue. So what I do, the first thing I do is I switch to boomkin form for the extra armor. And then I put a fairy fire on him immediately. That's the first thing I do, dude. You can see down here. Boomkin form, fairy fire. Like, n no timing between the GCDs at all. Next, we get an insect swarm on him. You know, start getting dots up. The moon fire follows up. But he does the, uh, he's combat or something. He does something to drop target. I retarget him. Put another insect swarm on him. But before I do that, I pop my nature's grasp. So that when he melees me, he will get rooted automatically. I see that he has his trinket procced. So he has like a lot of extra damage right now. So I definitely need that nature grasp, but he has double dots and fairy fire on him now. Oh yeah, so he's just basically getting like destroyed already. We typhoon him because I see he's he pops his like little blade thing. So he's out of here as the before the global cooldown even comes up for the next ability because typhoon's an instant ability. So you use that global cooldown. You have to watch really fast for this, actually. Your rocket glove is not on global cooldown. So you can see the global cooldown is still in effect. Like, the, like all the spell abilities still have the little timer thing closing on them. But I just popped my pyro gloves. So you can use your pyro gloves off global cooldown, which is really sick. So I Typhoon, and then I instantly Pyro Glove before Global Cooldown even finishes. Because Typhoon does a lot of damage on its own, and then the Rocket Glove just gives it that extra little boost. Boom, boom. The 1, 2. And just like that, we have like a Typhoon crit. We have... Wait. The Typhoon... Hold on. How much did the Typhoon hit for? I think the Typhoon and the Rocket Glove's crit. The Typhoon, I think, crit. We have all these dots ticking. And then we get... I notice that I have my... Uh, this buff, which reduces your Starfire cast by 1.5 seconds. And then we have the Nature's Grace. Reduces it by, what, like a second? So yeah, we have, like, the super fast Starfire. Or this does it by half a second. It shouldn't even be a whole second Starfire. It should be, like, a half a second at that point, huh? Nonetheless, it's super fast and it crits. The craziest part about all of this that I just noticed, I did not notice this until we started breaking this down. But if you look really carefully, you can actually see that right as the cast ends, look at the freaking rogue. He has dots, he has fairy fire. And then boom, all of the dots are gone and he has a new buff. You know what that buff is right there? That's Cloak of Shadows. He pops Cloak! The Rogue has Cloak right now, guys. The Rogue has Cloak. 90% chance that all spells will miss. Boom! What? He just noticed that! The rogue was cloaked! 
Are you serious? Not only is that the craziest crit and the fastest Starfire possible, but it's also the luckiest one. That rogue was cloaked, boys. What? I just noticed that. Dude, this, crit, this clip is absolutely insane. This clip is absolutely insane. I thought it was insane already, but it just hit a new level, dude. Wow. That's insane, dude. Rogue was freaking cloaked, boys. No freaking way. Boom. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Exposed, boys. Alright, watch it back now. Watch it back. Now that you know everything that happens. So yeah, Boomkin is freaking sick in Lich King. It's pretty fun. It's pretty freaking fun.